You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, smile makeovers. According to my first guest, small improvements to your smile can make a big difference. We have Pittsburgh's go-to guy when you want a beautiful smile, Dr. Bartusiak. Dr. Bartusiak, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me on the show, Randy. All right, now, uh, cosmetic dentist. Yes. And, uh, but for people that don't know you, I guess you do a lot of things. Who's your typical patient, and what are the procedures you do in your office? Our typical patient, Randy, is uh, anybody from toddler to a 92-year-old. Okay. Uh, we service all so it's aspects. it's like a family practice? It's a family practice. Okay. We welcome all ages. We take care of, uh, you know, mostly family members. Uh, the, the typical patient, if you would be, would be mom, dad, and the kids. We have everybody from the local policeman to the steel worker to the person that works at the computer software company. Cosmetic dentistry, by the way, are the patients getting older and older? I mean, are people coming in for these so-called or, or, or smile makeovers, are, are they getting older or is it younger people? Typically, it's uh, across the board, it can be anybody. Anybody can be more youthful, more attractive, more vibrant with a great smile. Okay, it's now you're a dentist, you're a dentist, so of course you think the smile is important. How important is it? As you, as you see. It's it. their window to the world. How many times do you walk into a room and you get immediately attracted and say, I want to meet that person, whether it's in a business meeting, okay. whether it's a, a, a social situation, they have a nice inviting smile and they bring you in, they, they walk you in, you want to go ahead and speak with them. You know, we talked on the telephone and we were talking about job interviews, you know, who do you hire? The person smiling or the person right. that uh, seems to be serious? Or They present themselves so well with a great smile. It exudes confidence. It shows that you want to be there. You want that position. Uh, it, it, it's the window to okay. your to your. Now I have a lot of questions about porcelain veneers. You know, we're talking about cosmetic sure. dentistry today, smile yes. makeovers, but I always feel like I could spot. And I told you this in the green room. I could spot to, you know, 15, 20 yards away, veneers. Yes, the chiclet smile. Right. Okay. Who right. wants that? Who woke right. up this morning and said, "Ooh, want some big white chiclets on my teeth?" Well, is actually, that the hands of the dentist? If you see that, Randy, they're not a patient of ours. The okay. reason being is we want to listen to our patients. We take pride in listening to our patients and telling us what they want. We want them going out with a very natural smile. We want them presenting themselves in the, any situation, whether it's a business or social relationship, with a lot of confidence, looking natural, and nobody going, oh, where'd you get that done? We want them to say, oh, your hair looks different. Oh, is that a new suit? Okay. Oftentimes, that's what our patients hear. Nobody said anything to me, doctor, about my smile. People do not like going to the dentist. Right? Correct. Right? Who woke do up this morning and that? said, wow, I run to go to the dentist. Do they say, no offense, doctor, but... Well, they, oh, they always say, no offense, doctor, but I hate you. And I go, that's fine. And there's a condition, there's a name for your medical condition. Yeah. It's called normal. It's called normal. Okay. It's called normal. They don't want to be there, but they want us to make them look better. They want to eat at the Thanksgiving table, and that's what we help provide them to do. But your yes. background and training, you, you say that you've gone to, like, fi after dental school. Yes. Like 1,500 hours of, of uh, training. Probably more. Probably one class a month is that I right? attend. Yes. Is there that much really to learn? Yes, there is. It's the okay. smallest of things. And, and another thing is, oftentimes you get what is called affirmation, where you're just affirming what we're doing is correct. We're at the latest and greatest edge of technology, and what we're doing is spot on. And that's very important, too. And my staff goes with me. Okay. Now, I saw your photos. Yes. Okay, we, we, we briefly looked at them. Do you think that it's more art than science? I think it's a combination of okay. both. I don't really know if there's, you could really say it's this percentage that or this percentage this, but you have to have the technical skills to be able to do it. You have to have the hand-eye coordination to be able to do it. You have to have the ears to be able to do it. Ears? Yes, ears, okay, because you mean? have to listen to that patient. And oftentimes they'll say to a patient, help me help you. What do you want me to do for you? If you could sit in my chair Yeah, what do they say? On a cosmetic consult, what do they say to you? Doctor, thank you. That's the first thing. Because the other two doctors I went to, they didn't listen to me. Okay. What are the different categories then of cosmetic dentistry? Well, let's start with whitening. Whitening is one of the easy ways to enhance your appearance and okay. make you feel more youthful. Whether you're 30, 40, 50, you're going to that reunion, you have that wedding coming up, you have that uh, reception, whatever it may be, that's an excellent way to make you look very natural and very appealing. Is that the most popular procedure that you have? By far. So we've got whitening, then yes. what? What's the next level up, I guess, of cosmetic dentistry? Well, oftentimes, uh, when we were children, uh, 
we had black fillings, uh, black or silver fillings placed on our back teeth. And when you're talking in that appearance, yeah. that's another aspect. So metal-free dentistry in a way. Correct, where we would place composite fillings that would be tooth colored so that they blend into the smile, blend into when you're talking, and they look very natural. Are they still doing metal fillings across the country? I mean, do you do them? Very rarely, yes. Okay. Yes, they do. E even bridges and partials have become cosmetic. Without a doubt, Nowadays. absolutely. Right, because with bridges, you can have a non-metal bridge where it's just all ceramic, very natural looking, actually stronger than the metal. Really? Okay. Yes. Ceramics uh, have advanced with technology, as has the times. Partials can be metal-free, blending in if that's the option that that patient wants to take. And there's also something called invisible braces now, where... Yeah, what do you call that in your practice? Invisible braces. Invisible braces, okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought you had a fancy name for it. The company that we yeah. use is called Clear Correct. Okay, we, Clear we Correct. We love Clear Correct. We have had so much success with that, with that product in terms of just gently moving the teeth side by side and creating enough space where in a short period of time, now typically, normal braces, three years, lots of wires, lots of metal. Okay. Invisible braces, half the time, 12 to 18 months, plastic trays. A lot of the uh, adults doing this, going for this, adult orthodontics? Huge. I mean, for people that can't afford veneers. Well, here's a way to very conservatively make your smile look better, look healthier, you look younger, make yourself more attractive for a, a, in a very easy fashion. What happens is, is the patient who's had orthodontics before in their teens, traditional orthodontics, okay. oftentimes when they're in the 30s and their 40s, the teeth shift in the front on the lower especially, and then they start to overlap. And then you see that crooked smile. The lower teeth, okay. The lower teeth especially. And then the upper teeth start to overlap a little bit. And so invisible braces can clean that up in a heartbeat, make that look fabulous. So we would like to see that type of patient in for a consultation because what happens is, is as you get older, the face becomes a little less elastic. You mostly show your lower teeth when you talk and smile. Good point, good point. Okay, that's right. When you're older, just the bottom. Yeah, show. watch the newscast tonight. You will see mostly lower teeth on the newscast. The teeth are showing? Yes. And so those Especially people... Especially males. Is that your most popular procedure, by the way, just the bottom teeth that have shifted? That is correct. Yes. Very popular. And, they and like very them. successful. Is that right? Now, what about when you hear terms like instant orthodontics? What are we talking about there? Instant orthodontics would be using porcelain veneers to create the magic of, I have straight, beautiful, wonderful teeth. So instead of the this invisible braces yes Just which could going take, with veneers right off the bat right that could invisible braces let's say could take nine to 18 months maybe 24 months we can do instant orthodontics with veneers three weeks and they could look natural they do look natural okay good now you say you're changing people's lives yes how so elaborate on that well when a patient comes in and they cry in your chair and they say i don't go out in public anymore why? I hate my smile. I don't like the way I look. I, if I have to go out in public, I talk like this and I cover my face. Because and their teeth are just so bad, broken their down. Their teeth are so bad and broken down. And when you can take that person and get them to a job interview and then them write you a thank you note. I got this job because I projected confidence because now I have a great smile. Does that happen really? Randy, we see it. We see it on a daily basis, whether it's the lady who was recently divorced and is back out on the market again All right. and allowing her the confidence to go out in a social situation. We see it with a patient who comes in who wants to get a job. And in this tough economic market that exists, they know that they might need an edge and that they come in and they may have crooked teeth, but we see them come in maybe shy, a little, is that right? A little, you know, inhibited. And the next thing you know, when we're done, they're just lighting up the room and, and you can just see the transformation. The Do you really see, I mean, so when they walk, they come in for the, the follow-ups and things like that. Oh my, they're, they're absolutely acting differently. They're, they're acting differently, they're projecting more confidence, more youthful appearance. They have bought into their own success. You brought, I guess you have four children. Yes. Three of them you brought here to the studio, a great looking family. Thank D you. Any of them want to be a dentist, by the way? Not at this point in time. A little, little too early in the game right now. Is that right? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so back to, now you brought some photos. Yes. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so what are we looking at? We're talking about cosmetic dentistry, smile makeovers. According to Dr. Bartusiak, small improvements to your smile could make a big difference not only to your self-esteem, uh, your appearance, but how people perceive you. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Now, Randy, take a look at this woman. All right. 
And what we have here is someone who walks into the door and says, I hate my smile. Okay, well, what do you hate about your smile? My teeth are crooked. I don't like to smile. I'm generally a happy person, but I find myself covering up my face when I talk. Social situations, I feel a little bit awkward, but I'm a very you know, vibrant people person, but I, I'm very self-conscious of this. So once she tells you what you know, she wants, when you look at that mouth, what do you see? What I see is a smile that's going to be transformed. Okay. I see a smile that has a lot of potential and can be fixed relatively easy. I see a smile with darkened corners in the mouth that doesn't lend itself to a youthful appearance. Okay. I see crooked teeth that are discolored, discolored teeth as we talked previously. Say that I'm aging. All right. Let's take the eraser to that. Let's whiten her up a little bit. Let's go ahead and make those crooked teeth straight with some instant orthodontics. Here's a case where Interesting, it interesting. Is and how old is this woman? In her late 50s, early 60s. Okay. Now, when you see this, you know, they say with, uh, you know, s certain artists or... I mean, do you see her mouth? When you look at this before, do you say, this is going to be good? I mean, in your mind, do you see... In my that? mind's eye, I see the finished product when she walks in the door. Yes. Is that right? Yes. In my mind's eye, I see exactly what Do you what get she's... excited sometimes and say... Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, absolutely, because I know that I get to see her three, four weeks down the road and we are completed with that case, how vibrant she's going to look, how happy she's going to be, and she's going to give me a big hug, and we're going to go down Happyville together. So with her, all you did was whitening, adult orthodontics, which is the invisible braces. No, we didn't do any. She didn't require that. She okay. didn't want to do any of that. She wanted right. instant gratification. Boom, done. We did some veneer work for her, and she just said, number one, I don't want orthodontics. Number two, fix it. And I said, what do you mean? She said, fix it. She said, my friends recommended you. You're the best. Fix it. I said, okay. And Randy, okay. when you see these afters okay. and you look at this before, you're going to say, really? You guys nice. could do that? Okay. In a heartbeat? Yes. And we Let's take a look. That. Okay. It's very nice. What we've done for this patient is transform her smile by attention to detail, attention to the little things. All right. You don't see the dark corners of her mouth at this point in time. Mm -hmm. You see nice, straight teeth that are feminized, they're curved. Females have shape. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? There are many subtleties to the tooth where light reflection, um, how it protrudes, the lip line, how the top teeth, if you look at the top teeth, how they just graze the lower lip. That's the perfect Interesting. smile. That's Good. the Mona Lisa of smile. Is that right? Yes, exactly. Well, you're, I mean, you seem very proud of this work. Well, of course. I mean, it's, when you, but it's, it's, you. it's, it's all a part of it. It's, it's the patient. We see in our office, we do our best work on our best patients. This lady was a great patient, very cooperative, very helpful. So when she sees herself in the mirror for the first time, what happens? Like, what do they Tears. say? Tears. Is that right? Tears. Tears, they get giddy, they smile, they can't stop smiling. They're like, I, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. Because we know, we have in our mind's eye what their finished product is. She hopes she has what that finished product is. She's seen the chiclets that some. You mean else the phony sees. looking veneers? Exactly. Hey, you have this thing, a test drive. Take, take a smile on a test drive. We always do that. What does that mean? Well, 99.9% .9 happy doesn't cut it in our office. Okay. Here comes the, per the perfectionist part. <laughs> okay. All right. So my patients know they have to kind of deal with me on that. 99.9% .9 isn't going to cut it. Why? Unless you're 100% happy, we're not 100% happy. So if somebody gets a smile makeover such as this, what we have them do is we have them test drive it. We put everything in. Do you in. use those words? We use those words, test okay. drive. You go ahead, you wear those. We'll put them in with some temporary cement. They'll be secure enough that you can be in any situation, socially or business-wise, that you can go into. But you get to test drive. You come back a couple weeks later. You tell us, is there anything that you can change? Is, is, do you want this change, that change, whether it's shade or shape or whatever it may be? When they're 100% happy, we're 100% happy. Then what? Then you just permanently... We just take them off and permanently insert them. Right. Is that right? I mean, you, the people like that, obviously. Well, oftentimes, they'll come back two weeks later and say, can you make this tooth just a little bit more rounded up here? Sure. And if it's something we can do chair side, we do. If it's something that we need our great laboratory to intervene with, we do. When that patient is 100% satisfied, then we're satisfied. You say the laboratory yes. is, plays a big role in making the teeth look authentic. Huge. Okay. Huge. The laboratory plays a huge role. That's when their ears have to be turned on to what our experts. So they make the teeth. They're the ones making they the teeth. They make the teeth. Okay. And we are very specific in color mapping, taking hundreds of photos, well, not hundreds, of, but taking many photos. A lot of photos. A lot of, taking okay. a lot of photos of the patient so that we can go ahead and give that laboratory 
as much information as possible so they can deliver a natural looking youthful smile. Some people come in with some small flaws that they notice that maybe the rest of us junk you public wouldn't, but she noticed them. This patient uh, does some modeling. This patient is a business owner. She's very prominent in our community. And she wanted this look, and so we were able to work with her and create this type of smile. Let's take a look. Randy, you talked about earlier about you could spot a veneer 25 yards away. Yeah. Could you spot those on her? No. no. Very, very natural, natural very, very nice. natural looking smile. Lip line is there blends in, looks very neat, and that's a confident person that you're looking at. Okay, so Cosmetic, I mean, has it become mainstream now? I mean, do they come in and say, I want a smile makeover, or they yes. just say, what can you do? Basically, there's, well, the internet has been a great tool. The internet's provided uh, a lot of uh, knowledge to our patients, as well as word of mouth. Most of our patients come to us via word of mouth. All right, what frustrates you, by the way, about what's going on in the world of cosmetic dentistry? Because I know you said, look, I want to stay positive. Randy, I think a lot goes into this in terms of training and differentiation between this dentist and that dentist. Okay. A cosmetic dentist has had a lot of training and a lot of expertise in handling these types of cases versus somebody who hasn't. Um, John Q. Public perceives maybe all dentists to be the same. It seems like you would all be doing the same kind of, you know, cosmetic dentistry. I mean, in a way. I mean, we don't think that much about it. Correct. So and what do you look for then? Are all, actors and actress, are all actors and actresses the same? Are all no, baseball players but, the same? But what does the public look for then in a cosmetic dentist? I mean, what do you ask? What do you ask? You want, to know, their, you want to know their training. You want to know what their staff has to say. Ask the staff. Okay. Ask the staff. They'll tell you the truth. Interesting. Know okay. what type of laboratory they're using. Make sure that it's a high quality laboratory. You want to see what training the doctor has had. Is it up to date? Take a look at their office. Make sure that they're the highest of high tech. And most of all, look at their work. Okay. Look okay. at what you're seeing. If you can spot that chiclet 25 yards away, then that's not the guy you want to go to. And Randy, there's another group of patients that I'd like to talk about. And that's the, the patient that, let's say, the perceived tough guy who's, you know, my gums are too bad to go there. Um, I, I'm not a cosmetic dentist candidate. They just want to eat and chew. They just want to have functional uh, uh, with their teeth. Is that the way guys come in, by the way, when it's just at the last minute, they can't take it anymore? They can't take it anymore. They'll, they'll okay. be the silent tear coming down their cheek. I'm a big chicken. They'll say, I'm embarrassed. Can you help me? Of course we can help you. What we're seeing right now is with our Marcella Shale uh, into play, is we're seeing a lot of people come in from Texas and Oklahoma. Quite often, I'm in pain. Help me. I'm working 95 hours. And they a week. have the money. These guys make a lot of money. Uh, they're doing quite well. Right? God bless yeah. them. That's wonderful. And we want to help them. And what's, they're coming in, and we're transforming them from not only wanting to eat better and chew better, they're smiling a little bit more confident. And they're doing well. And okay. going out into our community and making a very positive aspect. So more and more men are coming in then for cosmetic dentistry? More dentistry? and more and more men. Every Real day. men? Manly men. <laughs> okay, you have a photo. This is pretty graphic, by the way. What are we looking at here? Randy, what we're looking at here is a situation that many people, including the patient, called hopeless. Wow. That, many people uh, call that a hopeless situation. The patient even said, I know I'm going to get dentures. I, I'm, I'm ready to get dentures. I'm only in my late 20s, but I'm... Late 20s? I'm ready to get dentures. And, is and Randy, that wait, wait, I mean, that has to be uncommon, though. No, this is very common because you don't see those people. They're covering up their mouth like this. You might think they're having a bad day or they're you know, just kind of honked off of the world, but they're not smiling because they're very self-conscious of what they have, so you really don't even see them. And this is, this is very common. And the patient always comes in and says, I know I must be one of the worst cases you've ever seen. And we see this on a daily basis. And when you yeah, see, right. we kept this guy's teeth. He did not get dentures. These are going to be his teeth that we did. But what about the gums? I mean, if a guy comes in with gums like that, I mean, he, I mean, that, uh, what if, I mean can, can their mouth be too far gone to have things done? Randy, there's always something that can be done, whether it's implants, uh, whether it's crowns, whether it's bridges, okay. whether it's partials, always something can be accomplished. All right, so with him, when you look at that, I mean, what are his goals at this point? His goals were dentures. His goals oh, really? were dentures. I want to be able to eat. I want to be able to chew. That was about it. And his goal was, I want to get a little bit better job. Interesting. Okay. Yes. So when do you know that you could even do something? Does it take an x-ray or can you visually see it and go, this is going to be good? Well, it's a combination. This was a very uh, complex case where we had to really put our 
brains together and our staff worked with me on this and our laboratory as well to ensure that we were going to get the result that we wanted to get. All right, all right. So it wasn't one of those, I'm an eye up on the street corner kind of deals. You really had to put some thought into this. And this goes back to, you talked about spotting the chiclet at 25 yards away. I don't think you're gonna look at this guy when, when I show you the after and say, those real, those not So his, what'd you do for him? I mean, what'd you do for him? Well, we did, we did some dental implants. We did mainly some crown and bridge work. And I believe that we transformed this Let's young man's life. Very nice. Very nice. Now, what does he say when it's done? Shock and surprise. Okay. Shock and surprise. Just total in awe of, I look like this, and now I look like this. And it's a great It's got to be good for the social life as well. He's doing great. He's doing great. That's he has a, a, a whole new perspective of life. I mean, every time I walk into him, he's smiling. But is there a certain kind of a patient that you know they're watching this they don't like their smile that you'd like to see more of well randy there's always something that can be done whether it's invisible braces whether it's crowns whether it's veneers we like to do everything in our office there's always an, a path available for that patient to go ahead and transform their smile and get better whether it's a little thing whether it's one crown on that front tooth that they just don't like because they don't smile to one veneer that can transform their entire look and their appearance. There's always something going to be done. Okay, now on the telephone, and, and, and people need to know this is a real interview. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not siding with you. I'm trying not to side with you. Okay. But one of the things you said to me on the phone, and you want to make it very clear to me, and I'm going to paraphrase here, but you said, you know, my office were about options. That means yes. it's not about one thing or a full set of veneers. Correct. That I want to do what they want to do. Elaborate on that. Correct. We allow you were the... feisty about that particular point. I, I am feisty about that. And the reason okay. being is, it's that patient smile, and we want to look, let them guide us, help me, help you, have them guide us as to where they want to go. It can be implants, it can be crowns, it can be bridges, it can be veneers, it can be, they can be asleep. We can do the whole procedure while you're asleep with an IV sedation case. Many patients like that because they wake up, boom, they're done, and they're happy, and they didn't, they just slept. They don't even remember the procedure? They don't remember anything. Okay, okay. So the fear of the dentist, you think that that keeps a lot of people from having the smile they've 50 always 50% of Americans don't come to the dentist due to fear. But we can allay those fears so that it isn't too far gone or too late by IV sedation dentistry. Now we are out of time and, and I, you have a few more photos. We have time for one more. Okay. Oh, All right. Wow. This is the lady that came into us and she stated that she didn't go out anymore. She was almost a recluse. She never would leave the house because Interesting. she was so afraid. And this is a woman who is a vibrant member of our community. And she just said, no, I just hold up in my house. I don't go anywhere. I don't go anywhere. I don't even go to church. I don't go anywhere. That's hard to believe. Yes. I mean, I believe you. I'm just saying it's, it's yes. hard to believe that people, that their smile keeps them from, or their teeth. Their teeth, right. With this patient, it was total reconstruction of her mouth where we had to use dental implants, we had to use crowns and bridges to go ahead and project a more youthful appearance. If you look at her after a case, and, and nice. it's, it's very uh, transforming, she's almost not even used to smiling because she went so many years with... Yeah, it's kind of a grimace, like a forced smile. Right, smile because there. she's not used to it. So that goes away over time? That goes away, absolutely, yes. As well as speech issues and everything. Okay, so take me through the process as a recap here. Patient comes in, yes. how do you decide, or how do you give them a picture of what their smile's going to look like? Do you have, do you have a, like a smile catalog? Do you show them pictures, digital imaging? What do you do? We do a number of those things. We go ahead and we can provide them. So with, I'm the patient, I'm there on day one. Right, you come in day one, we do our diagnostics, we take our photos, we take our x-rays, et cetera, and then we have them come in and we say, look, these are some of the things where we can guide you to. This is some of the work that we've done previously on cases that are similar to yours. Okay. This is what you may look like. We can take a digital photo here, and this is what, you know, in general, this is what you're going so to So you show them other patients that have similar smile yes. problems. Yes. I mean, could you usually find that, by the way? Oh, of the hundreds of cases that we've done, yes. All right. Okay, so they see it, and then what happens? They see it, and they say, that's the one I want to look like. That really? One. Right. So, okay, so you want this type of, exactly, that looks so natural. She's about my age. That's about 40-ish. That's what I'm going to look like. Yes. Then we go ahead and we talk about having a test drive where they're in control of how they look. That Until they're 100% happy, we're not So happy. they try out teeth for a test drive? Test drive. Okay. Yes. So what we do is we have them come in. We go ahead and place them in temporary so they can go ahead and sort of get used to that feel, get used to that look. Have them come back in put the permanents on, 
with a test drive, making sure that they're happy, they go out into the world, and they come back in to see us, and we make any adjustments necessary. Okay, great. So now, final message. I mean, uh, to somebody, they're out there. And would you say that there's thousands of people in Pittsburgh? Thousands, yes. Tens of thousands? Tens of that thousands. That hate their smile? Hate their smile, afraid of the dentist, don't want to be there. It's the last thing I want to do. Help me, though. I want to look better. I want to look more youthful. I want to help my parents. Do you my spouse so? is making me come in. Okay, you know how sometimes people are afraid of the surgeon, like all they think is surgery. Right. Well, if, you, if you're, you know, we say Pittsburgh's cosmetic dentist, you're the go-to guy. Do you think that's also intimidating, that all he's going to be thinking is veneers or all he's going to be thinking is there do many, the whole mouth? Well, there are many different approaches, and we try and keep many options available to our, our patients. They guide the process. They're the ones that are going to make the decision. We provide them with options. Here's one, here's two, here's three. You help figure okay. out what you want to do, and okay. we'll get you there. Now, we'll do you find that when you fix people's mouths, their, their smiles, that now all of a sudden they start coming in, and they almost have like a bug for dentistry where they're coming in every six months for cleaning? They and love going to the dentist. They love. <laughs> they do. They do love you ever going. hear that? They go, I love coming here? That, I love coming here. Are you kidding me? I love coming here. It's easy. It's fun. Your staff's fun. You make me feel welcome. And they have nothing that needs done because it's been done and they, they maintain it. It's just like a car. Maintenance is cheap. Treatment is expensive. And they're now in a maintenance phase. Of everything you do, I mean, what, 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 I mean, what do you like most about what you do? I love going to the grocery store, seeing a patient, having them come up and give me a hug and a thank you. I love seeing the, the patient at the ball field who says, and they do point they do the, that? That's they do that. <laughs> they point, they point and, and seeing them at ease and seeing how maybe they were a little shy or a little inhibited and now they're the life of the party. It was always there. We just helped bring it out a little bit. Well, good for you. Thank you for coming on the show. Good My stuff. Pleasure. Great you. stuff. And, and, and the before and afters are on your website? Yes, they are. Is that right? And so when you want a natural looking smile? Come to see us. Consults are free, by the way? Consults are free. They could go in, you give them an idea. Uh, We'll give them an idea, give them some options, consult. Sedations available? Always available, yes. Okay, good. Thanks again. You've been okay. watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview again, you can go to our website and put in uh, Pittsburgh Cosmetic Dentistry. You could put in Dr. Bartusiak, which is probably tough to, tough to spell. <laughs> right. But you could just put Cosmetic Dentist uh, Pennsylvania. We'll, we'll put those tags so they could find you easy there. For now, I, I wish it. you could help.